All right, now we're moving on to a building, and this is going to be the most important one. It's very similar to the other things that we have done so far today, but our final project that we're going to do for Two Point Perspective this quarter is going to be a house. So, uh, again, we're starting with a base, just a square. So, you're going to start with your horizon line. And I'll be going through a little bit faster this time because you have already practiced this quite a bit. And then I'll add a vertical line. And I'll put it just like they did, which is below the horizon line. <coughs> then bring that vertical back to the vanishing point. going to do is line it up with that vertical, bring it back, decide if we're drawing a moderate two-story or a mansion. Mine's going to be a small one. Bringing it back, deciding on the size of the base of your, uh, your house. Now if you look at the top, it does something different. It has now an X inside that box. And that's what we do next, is you make an X from corner to corner on the side of the house where you're going to want the peak. So I'm adding X, and the reason I add the X is to find the center of this building. So I have the peak coming right up from the center. Again, lining my ruler up at the bottom coming up from that point, going right through the center of that X, and that's going to give me the peak of the house. So depending on how big that peak you want to make it, um, you know, you'll have a taller line if you want a nice tall peak, or a shorter line if you want it short. Then I'm going to bring it from each side of the square up to the peak. From the square up to the peak. And now from the peak, I'm going to head back to the vanishing point again. So because I went above the horizon line, now I'm bringing it down rather than across uh, in an upward motion or diagonal. Now to add the back of this house, the back part, I'm going to line it up with that peak and slowly bring it back until I run into the back of the house. That'll give me the correct angle for this building. You can add a lot of extra things, doors, um, windows, so forth. The only thing you need to keep in mind is that we do this the same way as we do for the original house. So I'm going to add a little vertical line here to add my window. I'm going to bring it back to the same direction. Wherever that side of the house is going back to, that's where I want to head. So this side goes to this one on the left. I'll head back there as well. And then another vertical line in the back. Make sure that these lines are always, I'm lining it up with the edge of my paper here to make it nice and vertical every single time. Go ahead and try drawing some windows and maybe another building, maybe one back here up on the horizon line. See what happens when you get, experiment a little bit with this. If you uh, get done and you want to challenge yourself, you can try more of a city building on the back side as well.